Hello there and welcome to the series of videos that's going through the content of A-Level Maths. Here we're working on trigonometry exercise 9b. So what we're going to do to work out how we uh, can form the sine rule is first take a carefully labelled triangle and create a perpendicular down the centre of it. And what we're going to be considering is what the height of this dotted line is using the sine values um, from these two angles here at C and at A over here. So just to label the diagram on the right hand side here, the, this right angle triangle here, hypotenuse opposite and adjacent when we are taking this angle here. Uh, the way that we can use the sine uh, function here is to say that opposite is equal to sine times the hypotenuse. So in which case here, A is going to be the hypotenuse and C is going to be our angle here. So the height of this uh, triangle here, perpendicular height, is A sine C. Let's do exactly the same thing with the left hand triangle. So C is our hypotenuse, capital A is our angle that we're working with down here, bottom is adjacent, height is opposite. And it's the same formula, opposite equals hypotenuse times sine. This time the hypotenuse is C and the angle theta is A. So the opposite here, the perpendicular height this time, is C sine A. So given that the perpendicular height was A sine C beforehand, and now it's C sine A, what we can do is set those two equations equal to each other. And then what we'll do is we'll move C's on both sides and A's on both sides to create a formula that looks like this. Sine A over A equals sine C over B, we could have alternatively labelled them B as well. So really it looks like this. Sine A over A equals sine B over B equals sine C over C. The formula actually works upside down as well because if we were to divide through by signs instead of the small letters, we'd get this formula here. So the formula can be switched around upside down. So let's use the formula here to work out um, the value of x here. So first of all be really careful to label up your diagram. Remember opposite sides and angles need to be labelled with the same letter. Um, so let's go ahead and label up our diagram here. So given that we have a uh, unknown that is a side, it's probably easier to use this version of the sine rule here where the unknown value is on the top of a fraction here because we can then just times by the denominator here. So in this case here, x is going to be labelled with little a, so therefore 82 has to be capital A. Uh, so therefore what we're going to say b is, is the 8 millimetres over here, and capital B will therefore have to be the opposite angle. So substitute those values in, times through by sine 82, and we get a final answer here of 14 0.17. Okay, so it's a simple case of substituting the values into the formula. Make sure you clearly label your diagram and uh, make sure you're doing the calculations right. Okay, this time we're going to find a missing angle. So this time it would probably be easier to use this version of the sine rule where the missing number is on the top. So carefully labeling up your diagram, what you're going to have here is uh, the theta here is going to be called capital A, so this here is uh, little a. This value over here is little b, and this value 32 here is capital B. Substituting it into the formula and timesing through by 12, you get this thing here. Work out what the value of that is, so sine theta here is 0.4239, etc. But now we need to work out the angle, so it's sine minus 1 of that and we get a final answer of 25.08. Okay, so we can either find an angle from its opposite side and another pair of opposite side and angles, or we can find um, the side with an opposite angle and another pair of opposite sides and angles. So it's really important that we label up our diagram correctly um, with opposite sides and angles taking um, priority. Okay, so here is a diagram of a question on question 9 from exercise 9b. Can you calculate uh, the length of AB and the length of CD? Pause the video and have a go. 
Right, so okay then, let's have a go at this question now then. So we're first finding this length from here to A to B. Um, first of all, let's just have a little inspection of this ABD triangle here. I see that this length here is 5 and this length here is 5. Therefore, this triangle here must be isosceles. So if the uh, sides are equal here, then the angles at the bottom of those sides are equal as well. So that's 43. Now that can help me work out this angle here. If this adds up to 86, then this here must give me 74. So now that I've got uh, the opposite angle, I can now have a go at the sine rule to work out the missing side from A to B here. We'll call it X for now. So given that I'm finding a distance along the side here, I'm probably going to use the sine rule that looks like this. It's going to be sine sorry, a over sine a equals b over sine b. So a is going to be x, my missing letter here. So the opposite angle to that is sine 74. And this is going to then equal b, which is going to be the other pair of opposite sides. Let's use 5 and 43. The other pair would have been 5 and 43 also, so it didn't really matter. So therefore, x here is going to equal 5 times sine of 74 over sine 43, which is going to equal 7.05 centimetres to three significant figures. Okay, the next part of this question, b, is to work out this side here. We'll call that the new x. So what we need to do here is we need to know it's missing its opposite angle here. So let's consider the bigger triangle here, ABC, 45 degrees here. We've got a 72 degree here. And we've also got part of this angle already is also uh, 43. So adding these up and we're going to get 5, 6, 7, 8. And then it's 4, 11, 158. So this very small angle inside here is only going to be 22 degrees. So in this case here, this is going to be 22 degrees. And what we're going to get here, we want to work out the length of C to D, a missing side. So the same formula again, so it's going to be X over sine 22 equals another opposite side and angle we're going to use here is 5 and 72. So 5 over sine 72, making sure we close all our brackets. And here we're going to get 5 times sine of 22 over sine of 72, which is going to equal 1.5 nine seven to three significant figures okay so there we are then so have a go at uh, questions from exercise 9b if you haven't really seen the sign rule before otherwise thanks for watching